Next up here in the scouting report series for all the New York Rangers prospects, we have Will Cooley, one of the more NHL-ready prospects as well. I would say he's probably honestly the most NHL forward-ready prospect currently in the Rangers system. On the defensive side of things, I'd say Zach Jones. On the offensive side of things, I would say for sure Will Cooley. This guy, he's fantastic. He really is fantastic. His physical game is amazing. His two-way game is pretty good as well, and his offensive game is quite good as well. His overall game is just fantastic, and he definitely has the physicality already to play in the NHL. That is not a question at all. That is a for sure fact. He is 100% physically ready to be in the NHL. He's got a big six foot three, 212 pound frame. This guy is a monster on the ice. Like he is so big, so physical, so strong. You'll see a couple fights here at the junior level, in the AHL, in the NHL. Not afraid of anyone. He'll fight anyone, he'll hit anyone. And that is great to see out of one of your forwards. And this guy, you know, he grew up playing in the GTHL, is from Toronto, turns 22 February 5th, so still 21 for a while. But like I said, he played in the GTHL, which is a top AAA league in the entire world. It's produced guys like Connor McDavid and so many other elite, elite talents. So obviously he had a good year, good career in his uh, you know, youth hockey, I guess you could say, with the Toronto Marvelos, one of the top organizations in all of the GTHL and the AAA leagues all around the world really just produce a crap ton of talent. So that's good there. Was drafted third overall in the uh, OHL draft to the Peterborough Peets, Brandon Othman's former team. But before he ended up playing a game with them, ended up being traded to the Spitfire. Um, so, you know, pretty cool there. And getting traded to the Spitfire and had a fantastic career there. In his rookie year, 63 games played with uh, Spitfire, 41 points. That's his rookie year. So he did fantastic there. Three points in four games in the playoffs. Played for uh, U17 Canada. Had five games played, three points. Not bad. Ended up, um, you know, in 20, 19, 2019, 2020, had a pretty solid year there. 62 games played, 42 points. Didn't quite take that big step forward. But then in uh, 2020, 2021, you know, obviously the COVID year and stuff like that, he played in the AHL because the OHL wasn't, you know, playing at all. He had 18 games there in his first year pro, five points. Like, not bad at all. You know, had 35 penalty minutes as well. So he was scrapping up there. He was doing a lot of good stuff. So did decent for his first, you know, go up pro hockey. Obviously wasn't quite ready, though, but definitely played decent. And in 2021, 2022 was the captain of the Windsor Spitfire and ended up captaining them to the uh, OHL finals where they ended up losing, unfortunately, but they ended up beating Brennan Offman Flint Firebirds um, when he went off and was on the Flint Firebirds as well in the Western Conference finals. So that was pretty cool there. They didn't get playing against each other. I got to watch that whole series. I watched a ton of OHL games being a, a you know, on Rangers fan from Ontario. I watched a crap ton of OHL games. So I watched them all through the regular season, and I watched them in that playoff series, and it was a ton of fun to watch. Went to Game 7. It really was a crap ton of fun to watch. They were both great players, but, you know, Cooley being the captain of that team as well that year, 59 games played, 80 points in the regular season, 43 goals, 37 assists, plus 22. Absolutely fantastic. And then the playoffs was an absolute monster. 25 games played, 15 goals, 16 assists, 31 points, 30 penalty minutes and a plus 20. He was on fire in that playoff series, really truly being the captain and the leader of that team. But unfortunately, even though they did beat, you know, the Flint Fire versus Brandon Othman in the Western Conference Finals, it was still unfortunate that they lost in the OHL Finals, did not make it on the Immortal Cup, but he still played great, still played unreal in that tournament, being the leader, being the captain, being one of the top, you know, offensive players on that team, just overall players. He really was probably the MVP of that, you know, team for sure on that very good playoff run. 31 points, 25 games is definitely fantastic. And later that year, had up uh, with Team Canada at the U20 World Juniors, had seven games played, two goals, two assists, four points, plus four, mainly playing in a bottom six, fourth line kind of role, uh, playing with Bedard a bit as well before he ended up moving up the lines a bit more. But overall, he had a really good, um, you know, tournament there winning gold medal of canada so that's pretty cool as well he's also won a helinger gretzky silver medal as well which is pretty cool uh but overall i think he's been you know really fantastic as a player this year having his first full year of pro hockey um you know started off in the ahl obviously had a four games with the rangers in the, the nhl no points but had a, that fight played pretty good good physical game you could see the physical game is definitely ready for the nhl just maybe the overall offense wasn't quite ready so had uh most of the season in hartford 69 games played, 25 goals, 20 assists, 45 points, plus 10. And the playoffs had nine games played, three points. So overall, the playoffs might have been a little disappointing, but I think in the regular season was absolutely fantastic. Finished second in scoring on the Harvard Wolfpack. So very good to see there that he finished second in his first full year of pro hockey on the Harvard Wolfpack. Definitely good to see. He also got about two years left on his entry-level contract at about 828 k So not bad, obviously. He's on RFA after that, so you don't have to worry about him 
you know, signing somewhere else as UFA or something. He's definitely still going to get locked up after that, I'm sure. And hopefully by then, he'll definitely be a full-time NHLer. We could see that at some point this year. I'm not quite sure what will happen. I don't think he's going to make the Rangers out of camp, but it's possible he could. But it's more than likely that he'll probably end up, you know, in Hartford for most of the year. Maybe get a call up here and there. Definitely is more than likely. I think he'll be one of the top call-up guys for sure. But I do think that at least for next year um, in like 2024 or 2025, I think that's the year that we'll fully see him and Offman, you know, as full-time NHLers for sure. But they definitely could make that team at some point this year as well. But taking a look at kind of the more scouting report kind of things, the his play style and all that kind of stuff, you know, overall, like I said, he's a very physical player, very physically dominating player as well. I think he's definitely got the, the t- talent and stuff to be a top six winger. I think it's more likely he'll be probably a middle six type winger but i do think that worst case scenario for a guy like will cooley he's going to be an amazing fourth liner with a great physical game a good two-way game maybe in like a second line penalty killer maybe even top line penalty killer if he really works on that kind of things but i think overall his two-way game is definitely good his physical game is amazing and that is something that to take note of as well is he is more than ready physically to be in the nhl that's for sure and just the overall offensive consistency needs to be worked on a bit and that's the main thing with him is especially in the when the Spitfire days, he was a little inconsistent at times, you know, having some really great games at points, but then having a you know a couple weeks when he you know wouldn't score a goal or something like that in the uh the OHL. So if he can work on that kind of stuff, being more consistent and stuff, I think he can definitely be a great top six winger at the next level. His shot is pro ready already, it's fantastic, definitely NHL caliber. He's got that amazing large frame, six foot three, two hundred twelve pounds, great physical game, good hockey IQ overall. But overall, I think definitely, like I said, the offensive game, if he can get more consistent there, he can definitely be a very, very good player. And at worst, I, I like I said, probably a bottom six, fourth line winger, but you know, providing a very good bottom six, two-way game, great physical player. I think that's kind of the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, top six winger, probably a second line winger, bringing, like I said, a good two-way game, a good physical game, but also being maybe a 55, 60 point guy, I think is probably the ceiling, maybe 60, about 60 points. It's probably the ceiling for him, but if you can get a 60-point guy out of a guy like Will Cooley, he's going to have a good two-way game, maybe a second-line penalty killer, and you know have like that good two-way game that you don't have to worry about. He's not going to be a negative out there. I think that could be great. And if you pair him against with a guy like Panarin or something, like that could work quite well. Yeah, like Panarin, um, Heedle, and Cooley, that could eventually be a line. You never know. I mean, obviously that could be a few years down the road, but I think he's definitely got the upside to be a very good player one day for the Rangers, and definitely I got to keep an eye on this year because he definitely will more than likely at least have a game or two here and there with the big league club in the NHL. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, please smash the like button and definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts on Will Cooley and you know how good of a thin season you think he's going to have. Do you think he's going to have a point per game year in the NHL? Do you think he's going to get a call up to the NHL? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching and see ya.